All right, guys, you may remember me mentioning something about a game changer in one of my videos. And what I meant by that was a new kayak that I was gonna be able to pedal um, instead of paddling. So I ended up going with the Radar 115. It was between the Radar 115 and the Native Slayer Propel 13. Sitting on it for a while, not quite sure which route I wanted to take. Uh, the deciding factor was uh, money. Native Slayer Propel 13 is about $2,600. Uh, compared to the $2,300 I spent for you know this kayak so uh, money was definitely a factor even though it's a couple hundred dollars you know another reason I owned a wilderness systems uh, the ride 115x which some of you may have, may have seen my first review on that uh, my very first video you know I, I really like the ride 115 uh, I like the the wilderness systems kayaks and I decided to stick with wilderness systems so um, I ended up going with the radar 115 uh, let's take a closer look and I'll kind of show you some details of it what I like about it what I don't like about it and uh, we'll go from there so let's check it out all right guys so one of the things that um, wilderness system did change for the 115 the radar 115 uh, the Orbix hatch is a little bit smaller. Um, this is what you know, the smaller one they use, the 8-inch one. Um, if you're looking for space-wise, the Radar 135 uh, actually has a bigger hatch. So, you know, this hatch a little small. Um, inside the compartment's you know pretty decent, pretty big. Uh, I can fit some stuff in there. Just it's a matter of getting things inside that's going to be the issue. Inside here, I was able to squeeze some things in, nothing much. A little bag with some tools and um, first aid kit, my uh, Vizex pull, and uh, right here, my first aid kit. So, I mean, you do have a little bit of space. You can definitely fit some stuff in there. And uh, what I do is I pretty much tie it off. So that way, uh, in case it slides to the back of the kayak, I'm able to just pull it out and yank it out in case I need it. OS flex pod and in here you can place your battery for you know your electronics whatever the case is so what I usually do is I keep my battery inside of here I got a little Hobie hole through right here where all my wires come out and I'm able to hook up to my sonar or fish finder what I ended up doing so fitting a total scan transducer down scan and side scan imaging you know they have a really big transducer you're not really able to mount it straight on here so what I did is pretty much put on now this is not my idea uh, somebody on the official wilderness systems radar owners group um, came up with this and they had a picture of it so I kind of just uh, copied them and it works out very well but what these are is pretty much the yak attack uh, anchor trolley little brackets that comes in the kit I ordered the anchor trolley I was able to install the anchor trolley and then use this for the total scan transducer. And this does move if I need it to or to adjust it or whatever the case is, so it works out perfect. Uh, the whole reason why I bought this kayak uh, was to be able to pedal. You know, there's something about being able to pedal and fish at the same time, you know, makes it really convenient. I ended up taking the Helix PD out. It performed well. I had no complaints about it. It was pretty fast, uh, as you guys will see here in the video. Reverse does get a little bit noisy. As you can hear there in the video, you know, going forward, it's not, not, too, not too bad. Uh, what I did end up doing is ensuring using marine grease and making sure this was full before taking it out, making sure it was topped off. But pop it up once it's lined up. It comes straight up and pretty much either stays like that or you can store it forward, which right here there's little clips on each side. You hit those clips, you lean it forward, and it's good to go. So so one guy on the official owners group on Wilderness Systems on Facebook, he lost his prop uh, while he was out. Um, a lot of people recommend putting a little bit of Loctite uh, around this uh, bolt right here just to ensure it doesn't come all the way off and my recommendation is to pull it up every so often and maybe just check it for the first uh, you know couple outings to make sure you still have your prop and make sure it's good to go but to put the pedal drive back down it's as simple as putting it back in locking these down pushing it down and you're good to go you can start paddling so one of my dislikes you know i'm a short guy um you know i'm five foot six and I have to have the seat all the way up here to even reach the pedals. 
I know some of you guys are probably laughing out there, but this hatch now I won't be able to really use. Uh, I mean, I can still access it if I lift the seat up. I'm still able to get in and get some stuff out of it. That's the only downside. You won't be able to access the hatch or there's going to be uh, limited access, I guess, to get inside your hatch. So, uh, But like I said, seat up, you should be able to reach it. Uh, seat down, you're going to have a really hard time. This seat is amazingly comfortable. Uh, I've spent you know, eight plus hours in this seat and I had no issues and I have really bad back problems. So uh, really comfortable seat. There are different positions that this seat uh, goes to. This is the Air Pro Max. Um, you have the low position. So if you like being a little bit lower to the, to the water or, you know, paddling wise, maybe keep it in the low position. And if you're fishing, you can switch to the high position. So uh, definitely some options there. Uh, you know, if you're tired and you want to take a little nap while you're out in the water or take a little lunch break, you do have the option to kick back the seat and relax. And... All right, so the tank well, a little bit smaller tank well. Um, it still does the job. It still fits a uh, the Yak Attack Black Pack, um, but it does fit. I still I have rod holder, holders on both uh, on each side, and it is able to fit uh, nicely snug in there. All right guys, so here we have the rudder control arm. Once you move this down, you're gonna go left. Uh, going back, you're gonna end up going right. So, uh, you know, the first couple outings, it's gonna take you a little bit to get used to. Uh, I was on the water for about an hour and ended up, you know, uh, was getting a hang of it within that hour. So maybe take you an hour to learn on the water and you should be good to go. Uh, once you're done, you can also store this on the side and it's out of the way. Be cautious uh, where you're gonna install your anchor trolley. Uh, I ended up installing it on this side of the kayak. The uh, reason I was doing that because one, the rudder lift arm is on the opposite side of the kayak which would have interfered with the anchor trolley line. Now there is a way to move this to the right side. You can also move this to the right side if you like. Uh, there's a YouTube video that Wilderness Systems made that you're able to do that. Actually, really nice to kind of paddle or pedal instead of paddle. The steering is something that I'm gonna have to get used to. So the steering, um, something you gotta get used to. Well, I think after a couple of outings, you'll you know figure out that forward is going left and then backwards is going right. about 3.5 miles per hour um, and that wasn't you know, stressing or going fast it was just normal not exerting any energy she pedals really nicely
turning radius, like I said, is amazing. Um, he turns on a dime, no issues. Alright guys, so that was my review of the Radar 115. If you got any questions about the, the, the Radar 115 by Wilderness Systems or the Helix pedal drive, uh, go down to the comment section and leave me a comment. Uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, checking out the Radar 115 with me. If you like the video, hit that like button. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for tuning in and watching. Um, I will catch you guys later. And uh, tight lines and I'll catch you guys out in the water.